A federal appeals court on Thursday blocked President Joe Biden's student debt relief plan that would lower monthly pay payments for millions of Americans. Uh, the St. Louis-based 8th District Court of Appeals granted a request by seven Republican-led states to put a stay on parts of the Department of Education's SAVE plan. Uh, now, that plan provides more generous terms than past income-based repayment plans, lowering monthly payments for eligible borrowers, and allowing those whose original principal balances were about $12,000 or less to have their debt forgiven after 10 years of paying. So, I mean, again, it's not student loan forgiveness. It's not what uh, Biden had promised. Uh, but then again, it, the Supreme Court had already crushed that. Uh, and so, but they're not done. Oh, no. Uh, conservatives, not done at all. State Attorney General, led by Republican Missouri Attorney General Andrew Bailey, last week asked the Eighth Circuit to block the rest of the safe plan. Uh, and, well, that's what the court did. They granted it an administrative stay while they continue to fight out the legality in the courts. Bailey hailed the ruling as a huge win for every American who believes in, it still believes in paying their own way. Wait, wait a minute. <laughs> hold, hold on here. So uh, every American apparently that is against helping students uh, out with student loans probably either has graduated like back in the 1960s, right? In 1970s or never went to school at all or are very, very rich people, okay? Uh, or are just uh, ignorant of how, how expensive college is today. I mean, you had, and, and this is, of course, uh, going all the way back down to uh, Ronald Reagan here, all the way back uh, to him cutting off state colleges in California as a way to stop the quote-unquote communists, right? Uh, and and that's, that's, that was the whole point. That was, that was what they did. That's, that's where all of this student loan debt actually started it was from Reagan cutting off the colleges in California uh, because he was worried about, you know, people getting smarter and not being conservative <laughs> to actually push back against power. So their entire plan was to load people up with debt so that they either don't go to college, don't get educated, uh, or they're so loaded down that they can't actually fight against the conservative agenda. That's the whole point, right? So now here's the thing. He also claimed, getting back to uh, Mr. Bailey, he claimed that the student loan plan would have saddled working Americans with half a trillion dollars in Ivy League debt. You know what? That bullshit. Yeah, total, total lie, okay? Just 0.3%, 0.3% of all federal student borrowers attended Ivy League schools. 0.3%, not even 1%. That's according to an estimate by higher education expert Mark Kantrowitz. So, no, this is average working people who are trying to get an education to get the jobs that require education, right? Uh, as a lot of them do. And being saddled with all of this, just a massive amounts of debt with extremely high interest rates. And that gets me to the other point, right? Many of the people who have student loans have already, would have already paid off it, most of, if not all of their balance, had they not had massive amounts of interest. In fact, look, uh, what a, a lot of people who have, especially the larger loans of maybe $100,000 or more, have uh, not made any dent on their principal, but have already paid tens of thousands of dollars in that interest because interest rates range from 6.53% to 9.8%. Okay, that is incredibly high amounts of interest. So... People are getting stuck with, you know, again, massive uh, amounts of uh, payments that they have to make in order to stay on top of that interest rate, or they don't get, uh, they're not able to pay off their principal. And their principal continues to grow and grow and grow. And so this is the problem with student loans, okay? Now, these red states, they don't, they don't want you to just pay off your loans, because if it was just paying off a loan without an interest rate, well, that's one thing right? But what they want is borrowers to pay both interest and fees on that debt for decades as a way to discourage average people from even 
getting an education or to punish you for trying to get an education. And that's because educated people, they're harder to control and they ask too many questions of the government and people in power. That's really it. Uh, I mean, they also tend to not vote for Republicans. <laughs> okay. Now that said, Republicans, it's not like Republicans want nobody to go to college. No, they do want people to go to college. Their own kids. Okay. And I'm speaking of uh, very wealthy Republicans. They don't want the poor ones to get to go to college. They just want uh, those who are already wealthy and already powerful. They want to send their kids to college. Okay. They're sending their kids to the Ivy League schools and they don't want your poor kid having being in competition. Oh, no. Uh, and look, the reason that they want their kids to go to college is just so they can stay rich. Their kids can be rich. They can stay rich. Educated people, of course, tend to make more money in their lifetime overall compared to people who don't have a college education. So what they're trying to do is they're trying to stratify education and make it inaccessible to people who are, are not of means. And so the whole purpose of the student loan program, remember, was to make education accessible but because of how much it costs how much it the prices have inflated um it's not it's not serving that function anymore which is why student loans themselves shouldn't exist student debt itself also shouldn't exist it schools should be tuition free 100 percent. that said republicans hate free college for you for your kids for average working people and have been using lawfare to block any any attempts to try to eliminate the a mountain of student loan debt and to make college more affordable and accessible because they don't want it. First, they use the Supreme Court to try to block Joe Biden's, I would say, modest but decent attempt at canceling student loan debt, which cancels about twenty thousand uh, dollars, and you know help uh, quite a few people. And now, of course even with the save plan, which is like, all right, well, we can't really cancel a lot of the debt, but at least we'll uh, try to make the payments a little bit more affordable so you don't go broke paying your student loans. No, no, Republicans are like, no, we're gonna use the appellate courts now. They have been using the courts and lawfare to go after everything. Uh, activist judges, activist courts, lawsuits. I mean, that's, that's mainly what they have now. They have a lot of the courts. They have a lot of the legal system. Uh, now, that said, an education department spokesperson said that it would uh, assess the ruling's impact and would be in touch with any borrowers directly affected by it and will continue to aggressively defend the SAVE plan in court. Uh, now, recently, uh, earlier today, actually, uh, the Department of Education has announced that it will pause millions of student loan borrowers' payments while defending its relief plan against legal challenges. So I don't know how long that's going to take, but now you have uh, about 8 million people that uh, have already been enrolled in the safe plan will be being, uh, will be placed in an interest-free forbearance, uh, says U.S. Secretary of Education Miguel Cardona. So now the safe plan was slated to fully take effect on July 1st. Parts of it have already been implemented, but now all of it no longer. But if you are in the safe plan, very likely you're going to be or have been already contacted uh, uh, by the Department of Education saying that your, your loans currently now are in an interest-free forbearance period. So there you go. Don't have to make any payments. Won't have any interest accrue on this until the court challenge. And I don't know how, I don't know how the uh, courts are, are going to you know, fight this challenge from these Republicans. Uh, we're going to have to see how that uh, unfolds. But basically, Republicans, they're out here trying to destroy any kind of progress in helping people that are saddled with this education debt. Uh, and they wonder, by the way, why, why young people are not lining up to become Republicans. Well, that's because Republicans want, want young people to spend a lifetime in debt slavery just for the crime, crime of getting an education that we were all told, by the way, was necessary to get ahead. This is just one of the many reasons why young people are not exactly impressed with Republicans.
Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe, hit the bell icon in order to get notified whenever a new video is released. And if you want to support independent, progressive media through this difficult time where it seems like everybody is shutting down, you can become a member on our YouTube page, you can become a subscriber on Facebook, or you can go to my Patreon, patreon.com slash Jeff Waldorf. Thank you.